Red Wings fans joining me now, Red Wings defenseman Oli Mata. Oli, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Some congratulations in order to you just signed a two-year extension with the Red Wings. We're excited to keep you in town for a little longer. Well, thank you. I'm excited to be here. Let's go back to start this to last offseason when you signed with the Red Wings on a one-year deal. Did you look at that as a little bit of an audition or maybe a chance to prove yourself? Yeah, absolutely. It was really, uh, really nice that they wanted me to after the half a year we had here. And uh, I think the direction we're going, it's exciting. And uh, the games right now, they, they feel awesome. The locker room we have, uh, it just feels like everybody's just super excited, happy for each other, um, want, want their uh, teammates just to do good. Off the draw for Matt, scores! Only Matt! Malone talked about this a couple of days ago. He mentioned the first time that you and him had a conversation over the phone. You told him you wanted to start your season off better than you have started off in your past seasons, and you did that. What do you think the key to that success was? Um, I think it's a combination. Yeah. I, um, I don't really know if I change anything, to be honest. Uh, it's tough to say if that you just put your mind in mind until you're just going to start better, like you, that's going to happen. I don't, I don't think it goes that way. Yeah. But I, I think uh, the coaching staff was awesome. Um, I think the training camp we had in Travers helped. You got to be around the guys a lot more than usually you do being a season because there wasn't really anything else else there. So you were, you were at the rink with the guys and you were outside of the rink with the guys like for seven days, which is awesome because like we're a new team. We had so many new guys, so you got to know everybody. And uh, I think that helped a lot. And uh, I think the situations uh, they, they put me, the coaching staff put me in, how they helped me, and uh, I think just building confidence that way. You guys have been playing very well defensively as a team, not just the defensemen. Really, everyone's buying into what Derek Lalone has been preaching yeah. all season, and that's a defensive game first, especially through this last stretch of games where you guys are really stringing wins together. How has your team evolved throughout the season from that perspective? Well, I want to give a little credit to the forwards, too. <laughs> <laughs> Defensemen uh, hate to do that, don't yeah, little, they? <laughs> I'll give them a little bit, not, not too much. But yeah, I, I think it is true that we're, we're playing as a five-man unit. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, when everybody buys in, we're a tough team to play against. We know that. We noticed that. I think we've beaten teams that that are really good teams. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way we beat them, it's like frustrating them playing our game, being their face, uh, don't give them time and space. And uh, it's just a fine man unit. I think one big thing too, who seems to give us a chance to win every night. So that, yeah. that's a big thing. We get big saves out of him when we need it. And uh, lately, I, don't th I think the last two games, I don't think we played our best. Mm -hmm. We played pretty good, but we find ways to win. And that's a, that's a big credit too. Uh, and, and I think that's exciting too because we know we got we got even better. Oh my! What a save by Uso! Great look by the gang downstairs. Wow! Right in front of the goal line. You mentioned Billy Huso, and when he talked to us after a game this week, he mentioned that learning the defenseman actually takes time. When he was asked about how he's seen the puck so well right now, he said learning the different D pairings and the defensemen themselves takes a little time for him. Does that take time for you guys too to be in sync with your goaltender? Yeah, absolutely. They, uh, it's a big part of the game, them handling the puck. Mm -hmm. So I think who's is awesome with that because we, we talk a lot about it where, uh, where he wants to put the puck. Like I can, I can tell him where I want the puck sometimes. and. Uh, and he's really, really good at it. And it's a chemistry thing too. And uh, w when he goes back for play a puck, you know, you know his plays and you know where it's coming, where, you, where he wants you to be. And that makes a game more simple. It gives you a little more time. Earlier in this interview, you talked a little bit about the energy in the locker room right now and how excited everybody is to be in the position of making a playoff run, right? And you've been a part of some of those winning teams. Just how much potential do you think this team has right now? It has a lot. I think, and uh, I think the biggest strength we have, we have four lines and three D pairs that can play, mm -hmm. and that's tough to uh, tough to play against when you can't just match up against one line. And uh, we've had Suits—he's been scoring on an absolute heater lately, and that's that's a big thing. Hughes Suter, this guy's money. This is gonna—he's gonna score right here. Here he comes, slowly over the Edmonton line, makes his way in on Campbell, fakes, shoots the backhand, scores. Paul Woods, you were right. Again, like third foot line are doing awesome, awesome things out there. So it's a lot. And I think one, one of the biggest things is just the, 
way we view the game. We're never, we feel like we're never out of it. We can beat anybody, whoever we play against. And like going in a game, we just wanna, we just wanna go out there and win. And uh, it's, it's just a mindset. And I think that's a huge thing for us. Just what can you say about the fans here? Because not only have they embraced you, but they are really embracing this team right now. What has it been like, especially during the last couple of weeks? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Like I think the atmosphere we have at the rink is yeah. unreal. It's just exciting. Feeds you when you when you play, um, and gets you gets you really excited, pumped up for the games. I can't imagine what it was like back in uh, 08, 09, with those years, or even before that. Before that, it would be nice to see it, see it getting to that level again. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to join us again, Oli. We really appreciate it, and congratulations. We're excited to have you as a Red Wing. Thank you.